Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm doing good. I just finished working out. Um, I'm gonna move this table a little bit. Just finished working out, just got out of the hot tub and showered and feeling relatively chill, tired actually. Um, but I'm also really frustrated, angry, pissed off maybe? Um, in one of my previous videos, recent videos, I think it was the, the last update video that I did, somebody put a comment in there um, to the effect of, you're doing really good, unlike another content creator who's spiraling out of control, or spiraling or something. That pissed me off. And I've been thinking about it for a while, and it makes me really, really angry. And it was just one comment. Um, but that one comment, somebody being willing to come into a public space, the internet is public, this is a public space, and belittle a man whose wife recently died and he's fucking trying to do his best to take care of his kids. Really? Like, how dare you? And it happened to me too. It happened to me. I had other content creators saying I was spiraling out of control and saying I was a horrible person and all that. And honestly, at that point, I didn't give a shit. I didn't care. And yeah, I did spiral and I do spiral. And every other widow and every other widower out there, they're going to spiral too. We're all going to spiral. Anybody that's lost somebody close to them it's going to spiral. That's the reality of this life. We're going to spiral out of control. We're going to lose our shit. We're going to have a really fucking hard time. Who's to judge that? Think of all that is lost. Okay? All that is changed. So for me alone, Sarah died. Brayden's mom died. Rayla's mom died. Amelia's mom died. My parents lost their best friend. Sarah's parents, daughter died. Sarah's sister, brother-in-law, brother, died. How many people have disappeared from my life after Sarah died? All of the things that won't be. That fairy tale ending that I was gonna have, fucking gone. It's gone. My best friend's dead. And we're expected to move on. And that is bullshit, okay? That's plain and simple, it's bullshit. A significant death in somebody's life changes absolutely everything all the way to the core. It's not just that that person's dead. Everything in my life was associated with Sarah. So everything has changed. I don't understand how people can look from the outside in and judge somebody for spiraling for being emotional, for fucking crying, for just breaking down. How can you judge that? Like, how can anybody judge that? Gotta be strong. Ooh. Gotta take care of the kids. We fucking know. 
gotta do this, gotta do that. If you go to work, you'll be okay. <laughs> it worked for me, it should work for you. That's not how this shit works, you guys. <laughs> it's not how this works. Not how this works. This life is fucking hard. And we are doing what we can some days to simply survive. We are doing what we can to take care of our children. You know what's crazy though? We're also taking care of all these goddamn adults around us. Sorry if I just offended anybody with my language. Because there are so many adults around us that won't take care of themselves and they expect us to take care of them too. They won't go do the counseling and therapy they need. They won't take the time to reach out and build relationships. Disappeared, gone. So when you see us spiraling, instead of judging and saying we're spiraling, because using the word spiraling out of control is not intended to be helpful in any way at all. Not at all. It's like when your significant other is like freaking out and getting pissed off and you're like, just calm down, right? Dude, you're spiraling out of control. It doesn't help. We know that that is not intended to be a supportive statement. It's all there is to it. So if that is what you need to say in a comment or to another human, just shut your mouth. It's not helping. It's not helping. Now, for those of you that are watching all the way to minute seven, 99% of you are amazing, supportive, wonderful human beings, and I appreciate you very much. And aren't saying these things. But I wanted to address it because it is possible that somebody might say it without intentionally being disrespectful. And <clears throat> my intent in this video is to share how it comes across, how it feels when we hear that. And we don't feel happy. We feel pissed off, disappointed, sad, angry, frustrated, like we aren't doing good enough. And we already feel a lot of that shit already. <clears throat> so when somebody points it out in such a disrespectful, <clears throat> ill-intented way, it hurts a lot because words do matter. So when I saw that comment and then thought about all of the content that other people have done and the, the comments and uh, about me, I'm just like, what's the point? Why do we need to judge other humans when they aren't doing what you think they should be doing exactly the way that you think they should be doing it? Why are we judging each other? Why can't we be supportive of each other? Instead of saying somebody's spiraling out of control, be like, hey, we're here for you. It will be okay. We care. We appreciate you. Thank you for sharing the hardest part of your damn life with us. Most of you guys do that. And thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate it. And I know other people going through all of their stuff appreciate you and appreciate your support as well. So thank you. <sighs> all right. With that rant, I'm going to go get ready for bed. So have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. Remember, be kind, make good choices to anybody that was offended by the language. Um, I'm not sorry. They're words and they are intended to emphasize the frustration that I am feeling on this topic. So, bye.